What's going on, everybody? I'm Animus J, and welcome to Sky Factory 3 tutorial number two. That's it's kind of hard to keep that in order. We still got our Santa hat on. We're rocking that, and um, you can see I've expanded things a bit. Uh, but to be fair, I didn't give myself anything that you guys wouldn't have already had leaving off on the last episode. So, um, I just added more of what we did, alright? So, number one, I want to tell you this. Uh, these crafting tables can spawn entities. So, that's why I put my one single torch right here. I'm not worried about anywhere else because it's all bottom half slabbed and I got trees on the dirt. So, they're not going to spawn there. Uh, we don't have to worry about any of these areas. These are not spawnable areas. But you can see I've set up my sieves in a 3x3 three three area. And there's a reason for that. Uh, I did it the same with the, the compost buckets. But with those, it, it, it doesn't work. All right. So what you do is you get, well, I got nine in my hand right now. So that's perfect. I'm just going to right click the middle one and look what happens. Boom. It fills in all of them. So I can just hold right click on the middle one and then bam sifts that many at a time so let me toss up everything that i just got in there now i'll show you another uh cool trick right here is if you click your middle your mouse scroll button boom look at that it organizes it for you it organizes it for you okay so what do we got going on i i sifted quite a bit of stuff so this is pretty much everything you're going to get from dirt for the most part uh we got stone pebbles which you know about which i'm going to put all of those into my inventory we got some carrot seeds, we got acacia seeds, which as I've mentioned before, it's just a sapling. We have our dark oak sapling from before, we got another one. Uh, we have our regular seeds that you're accustomed to. We have potatoes, uh, we have the jungle seed, we got some grass seeds, and we got some melon seeds, which is pretty awesome actually. And then over here, I've been working and pushing some dirt. So. Uh, here is what we're going to do today. Today, in our achievements, we are going to pick up right where we left off. Okay, so craft a hammer to turn cobble into gravel, gravel into sand, and sand into dust. And that is actually going to carry over into sifting gravel, sand, and dust in a sieve. Uh, and then as well, making clay, so on and so forth, cooking a crucible, heating a crucible, and building a cobblestone generator. Now, most people build the old school vanilla cobblestone generator, but it's a bit ridiculous to do that um, when it's so easy to, you know, let's just make another crafting table actually for this side of the house. Where's all of my wood at? I'm also gonna show you guys some cool storage stuff that we can do. Uh, let's get this crafting table going right here. We go. I, I don't know why. I don't know why it's re-giving me achievements. And let's put this bad boy right here in the middle. Oh, hey, this was well. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And then we're gonna go like so. We're just gonna turn all of this into to cobblestone. And not gonna break all of it but what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna make a line of it <gasps> okay uh so this is a perfect opportunity for me to show you guys what happens when you die crap there goes all of our cobblestone <laughs> dang it i was gonna show you guys that but i i just wasn't ready to do it yet all right uh okay we're not at a point where we can go and retrieve it all our stuff is down there. You see it? There it is. My happy little face staring up at you. Um, yeah. Okay, hold on. Oh, let me get some more wood. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay. Yep. There we go. And come around here. You know, I thought about putting fences around the area, but then I thought, nah, that's excessive. We don't need to do that. Apparently, it wasn't excessive. Okay. Uh, let's see, we're gonna need a hammer. Two, two hammers. Okay, and then I'm just gonna vein mine all, all of this. Oh, come on, wooden tools. Yeah, there we go, and now we got a ton of gravel. So I'm gonna go ahead and 
receive the gravel right now. Just one of them. Okay, maybe maybe not just one. Anything out of it? Give me something. There we go. And look at this. Iron ore. Now that's important. Iron ore is gonna turn into iron eventually. Alright. Uh so now let's lay down a couple of gravels. <laughs> Making sure we don't fall off the edge again. And I am going to actually, you know what? I'm just do the rest of this. And mine it all at once. And now we got sand. So if I I I'm not sure if doing it at the corner like this fills all of them or not, and I don't want to risk it right. So we got iron ore again. That is just pure luck. So if we go over here and you go into uh, not flesh, mesh, okay, and you right click on the mesh, we're using, okay, so we're using, I right clicked on string mesh, but notice it says heavy sieve up here. We just click that over to normal sieve. So this is gonna show you what you can get from each item. So soul sand, sponges, dirt. Okay, so these are all the things you can get from dirt. Uh, gravel, these are all the things that you can get. All the things you get from sand, it's almost the same things. And then from dust. Now, one thing that we can get from dust that we can't get from the others is bone meal, which is important, uh, important in the beginning. And then aluminum. Uh, that's going to be important here uh, in a bit, but probably not this episode. So, let's. did we sift one of those? Yes, we did. Okay, so let's go ahead and we're just going to turn the rest of this into <laughs> i'm so nervous about falling over the edge into dust all right we've got dust now and i'm going to go ahead and sift that let's see if we get anything out of it and we got iron ore again um so let's go into our uh shoot our achievement book is way <laughs> achievement book hello hi yeah okay that's all right i remember what we got to do all right, so we're going to take our dust here and we're going to put it inside these waters and look at that. Now we have clay. Look at that, clay. All right, lay this out. I'm going to break it into clay balls because what we need in order to make, because remember one of the things that was on there was our uh, cobblestone generator. Okay, so if we come over here, we go cobblestone generator there we go we'll click on the first one left click it so we can see how to buy it okay so we need glass which means we're going to need a furnace so we're going to need more cobblestone which we threw over the edge we're going to need a bucket of water we're going to need a bucket of lava and there's substitutes that we could put in there but we don't have the substitute so we're just going to do the buckets okay now these are lava this these are clay buckets and that's what we're going to use because that's what we have right now so let's go ahead and click on that let's click on the, the um buckets find out how we get it so we take clay maybe like a bucket and that's going to give us unfired clay all right make one more because we need one of each right okay so now we have to cook these in a furnace which means well, where's all my dirt uh we'll go ahead and take a half a stack of that just for good measures so we got to do more of this guys this game is very grindy i'm telling you oh we just got quite a bit of cobblestone right there we got plenty. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let me make it daytime just for the sake of recording here. There we go. All right. And there we go. 16 cobblestone. We'll go ahead and make one furnace, not two. I don't know why I did that way because we do need the rest of this. Okay. So we'll pop that bad boy right there. And we'll put a couple logs in there, then cook those up. Now, that's going to give us buckets to be able to carry around water and lava. And I know what you're thinking, lava, how the crap do we get lava, Jay? Well, let me show you. Uh, what do I need here? I need saplings. Sapling. Yep, there we go. Okay, uh, I'll take the wood chips. No, wait, I can't do it with wood chips. Stack. So we're going to need more clay in order to make our crucible, uh, which is what we are going to be using for, uh, for lava. 
All right. There we go. All right, now we have a bucket. We'll be able to do that. Um, where's my... Oh, the torch is over here. All right, we're going to have to steal the torch. But that's A-OK. -okay. It's not going to hurt us at all. I do need... Uh, here. That bad boy. And solid block there there all righty now the crucible to, in order to make lava this is what we need right here an unfired crucible so we need to take un uh, we need to take porcelain clay and line it like this and that's going to give us an unfired crucible so we need more clay we don't have enough so uh let's go ahead oh yeah we already started on this so we're waiting for this to finish and there we go our fluid volume is all the way up now that we have buckets guess what we can do we can take those we can go ahead and make our infinite water source which is uh incidentally running over the edge because i did not didn't properly form my little containment area let me just fix that right quick boom boom and boom there we go infinite water source all right now what we can do is we can take from our infinite water source we just put it back in here but why do we want to put it back in there jay well because because we need more boom 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 all right Break out the clay again, get more clay balls. Come over to the crafting area. Just like. Oh. It has to be. Okay. Uh... Porcelain clay. And this is normal clay. All right. So. Oh, shoot. Forgot about that. Okay. Porcelain clay is clay combined with bone meal. So, no bone meal. How do we get bone meal? We get bone meal by sieving dust, I do believe it was. Let's look at our mesh. And we'll go to the normal sieve. Go till we see bone meal. There it is. And yes, we got to sieve some dust. So, let's see if we can get lucky. Okay, sorry about that. I, my, my daughter stepped in and was asking me a question, so I don't know where I left off. But uh, we, need more, uh, we need more bone meal, which means we need cobblestone. And most of our cobblestone is down there at the bottom. So this is what we're going to do. And we're going to have to make it down here eventually anyways, which is why I wanted to show you guys this. So, so let's put our water right there. It should give us a good at least one block down from it and this is this is kind of the dangerous part right here okay we're just we're just gonna go down and we got our buckets on us which isn't the smartest thing because if we screw up then oh we lose our bucket so we're gonna just float on down here and then what we're gonna do we're gonna try and get a block between us and that dirt grave right there and there we got it okay so now this you just left click to break it and apparently i'm in creative mode but we got all of our stuff back you see our hammers our achievement book all that kind of stuff so while we're down here let's go ahead and check the achievement book here see where we're at and craft a hammer turn cobble into gravel gravel to sand sand to dust we did that Sift gravel, sand, and dust in a sieve. Done. Uh, make Tinker's Construct tools from bone or flint. We're going to put that off. That is not important right moment. Make clay by putting dust into water filled with barrels. Done. Craft and cook a crucible. That is currently where we are working at. So uh, we're just going to leave this block here because we're going to come back to it. And we're going to leave our waterfall here as well for the time being. Because we're going to come back to that in the next episode, I believe. All right, so we got all our stuff back. I did a whole bunch more sieving and uh, got a whole bunch more dust. I've got a full stack of dust down there. See? And we just fill that up. 
And so we'll go ahead and sieve all of this. Sift all of this, I think, is really actually the way to both say it, but most people say sieve because that's. Hopefully, we're getting lots of bone meal, or at least enough bone meal. I saw some right there. And uno mas. There we go. Boom. Okay, you can see we got quite a bit of ores here. All right, we're going to go ahead and put those into the chest. Not concerned with those right now. Those will be the next episode, but 15 bone meal. That is a plenty. And let's see. Is there I think that's it. The rest of it's kind of random crap. So, coming into here, we'll combine this with this. We'll make plenty of that. We got a little bit of that left over. Go ahead and shove that right there. Right click to organize all that fancy stuff. Okay. And then, let's see, can we make two? We can make two. You don't need to make two, but I'm going to make two. All right. Now, you need a heat. Oh, we got to cook this bad boy first. You need a heat source for your crucibles. Okay. Go. Nope. Uh, so once this thing is cooked, which it's it's going pretty quick, you need a heat source under it. The smallest heat source you can have is a torch, and the torch is going to take forever, believe you me. But here's what we're gonna do: I set it right there on top of the torch. Now this thing's cooking. You can't tell, but it's cooking. Do I have any cobblestone on me? No. All my cobblestone is over here. Yeah, I'll take off a stack of that. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hold right click. And look, you can see all the cobblestone is up in there. All right. Now, what that's doing is you can see in the top box, liquid lava. It's turning the solid cobblestone into liquid lava. Now, this is going to take quite a while. All right. So we're going to let that sit. Let's check our book here. Craft and cook a crucible. Done. Eat a crucible with the torch and insert stones or cobble to make lava that is in process. So we'll call it done. And the last thing for this episode, build a cobblestone generator. While we're waiting on our lava to melt, I thought I would show you guys a little bit about storage really quick. There's some storage that you can do uh, that is pretty cool called the basic drawer. Okay. And it's going to get more complicated later on. But... <laughs> what we can do is we can start with these and then we can move them into other things, okay? So I'm going to make one of these right now and I'm going to pop this bad boy right there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my cobblestone and I'm just going to put all of it in my hand, right click, and notice I have no more cobblestone and there's cobblestone on there. So if I left click, boom, one cobblestone, two, three, shift and left click, now I've got it all, all right? So if I look at it, look at the top, it's number one, cobblestone, 48. So I've got one stack of 48. My stack limit is 32, all right? And so we can make a bunch of those, but you can also make them divided up. Uh, let's do this. Okay, and that. Okay, so let's see materials oak all right so notice this one has four compartments in it okay so then we can take this and we can stack this one up here and then what we can do is we can grab say our copper we can grab our gold we can grab our aluminium and let's go ahead and grab our iron and those back all right so we'll put those there, we'll put those there, those there, and those there. All right, so that's one cool way that you can store things, keep them individually if you want. Now, obviously, it's a bit more spread out than what the chests are. However, you can hold more in it. Like, like right here, it's showing number one, one gold ore piece. Number three has you know, three, three gold or three aluminum. And the stack limit is eight per each one. So I can have eight stacks inside of each of these little squares. Um, so another way with chests, another thing with chests, if you don't like the drawer system, is a thing called crates. And you spell it correctly, yep. And I use these on my, uh, on the Sky Factory series that I had started playing myself. So what they involve is uh, just planks, chests, and then this wood casing, all right? So let's click on this wood casing and it's just planks and sticks with a log in the middle, right? So we'll do 
one of those and then we still have a couple of chests we have enough though no we need two more that will or throw that crate down now when we throw this down look at the amount of storage that that baby gets okay so that can give you a crap ton of storage however just you know it's all in one small little spot and as the lava reaches a thousand that should give us a bucket of it and it did so let me come over here i smelted some sand into glass and let's look back up the recipe for our generator our cobblestone generator and it looks like i'm going to need some cobblestone. do it here it is right here and i don't have to give the thing give the thing water I okay so oh aha uh -huh. it had two different recipes depending on the lava bucket clay bucket or an iron bucket all right and there we go there is and we get one bucket back not both unfortunately so this i'm gonna go ahead and put right there next to that bad boy now how does this work you ask me well it, it's working already so if I put all of my cobble into that right there, then what I gotta do is right click and then look at that. Now I've got seven. Right click it again, two. Give it a second, there's another one. So this thing is automatically producing cobblestone for me. There's no reason to make one of those ridiculous absurd water over here, lava over here, then I stand here with a pickaxe and break it. It's it's dumb. It, it, it's like two extra steps in order to make this thing. And look at that, seven, seven cobblestone there. So we now have tons and tons of cobblestone, which is good because we're going to need to break tons and tons of cobblestone. And turn it into sand, uh, into gravel, into dust, into sand, into, yeah, uh, sand and then dust, right? So what you need to be doing right now, at this point, before the next video, is making, oh, hold on, that, that, what you're going to want to be doing is sieving tons and tons of dust all right now the reason you want to do dust like i said is because you need that you're going to want that aluminium all right that's really important for one of the things that we're going to be doing in the next episode in the next tutorial so make sure you are sifting the dust because it has some of the stuff that we're going to be needing in order to move forward on the next set and there we go lots of dust Let's get that sifted in there. So we'll hit up last for the episode, our book, build a cobblestone generator. Boom. Like I said, we're not worried about this. This isn't important. Let's go back to our previous page. We did all of that. And that is it for today, guys. Hopefully that's all crystal clear. And hopefully that helps you out. Keep sieving all that dust. Okay. And, um, I will uh, see you in the next episode. If you enjoyed it, make sure to hit that like button. And if you haven't subscribed already, make sure to do that. Bye, my name is Jay, and I'll see you next time.